Mike, many of you are aware of Killer Mike. He's a rapper from Atlanta, basically. Um, business owner, entrepreneur, but a rapper nonetheless. A, a, a real big advocate on behalf of black society, in my opinion, right? So Killer Mike has launched his own digital, a digital banking platform for black and Latinx people. Now, the name of the bank is called Greenwood, right? Named after, uh, uh, um, named after Black Wall Street. I'll get into that in a minute. But he has a bank called Greenwood. It's the creation of him alongside Mayor a uh, Andrew Young and a entrepreneur and business owner, a brother by the name of Ryan Glover, who um, owned the Bounce TV network. And basically what they said in regards to why they started this bank, because again, this is, in really, this is really important to me, family, because all of us have a bank account right now. All of us are different. All of us are using different forms of banking. If you can circumvent them funds and put it to a black bank, there is no reason in this world that you shouldn't do that, especially dealing with all of the shit that we've had to deal with. Everything that we go through in this country, if you are someone who does not like what you see, if you are someone who doesn't like injustices or any type of racism, there are several, and I keep saying this family, but this is real shit, there are several ways that you can fight racism in this country. And one way is with your money. You feel me? That is a revolutionary act to purposefully spend your money with people who look just like you. That The, the money in our community does not circulate enough. And my brother Killer Mike goes into that. So he basically says today, a dollar circulates for 20 days in the white community, but only six hours in the black community. Um, he said a black person is twice as likely as a white person be, to be denied a mortgage. This lack of fairness is the financial system. This lack of fairness in the financial system is why we created Greenwood. Now, Greenwood has announced plans to donate. And this is another big thing that I see here. Plans to donate five free meals to families in need for every customer who signs up for their service, as well as donations to the NAACP and more after every use of a Greenwood debit card, right? So also, a $10,000 grant for black and Latinx small business owners will be given out on a monthly basis. So this is a big deal, y'all. This is, I guess, this is an extension of my um, black business spotlight, but the online bank isn't up yet it'll be up in january you can go to bankgreenwood.com bankgreenwood.com to register so when they finally launch everything they'll send you some information and let you know how you can uh, how you can become a member and as far as the name of the company it's important to note that the bank's name is derived from greenwood the greenwood neighborhood in tulsa oklahoma many of you if you don't know um in the early 1900s, this area became known as Black Wall Street because it was home to a thriving community of wealthy black entrepreneurs. The community was eventually burned down by an angry white mob in 1921. But according to the rapper, the goal of the Greenwood Banks is to revive the spirit of the Oklahoma community by creating a fair playing field for black and brown citizens. I am 100% with that family. So I'm like I said, I know we all have bank accounts now, but it's nothing for us to take a small amount of what we make, a small amount of what we've been saving, and infuse this into this bank. Because like they're saying, they'll be more aware of our needs as a community. So when it comes to getting approved for a loan, when it comes to getting a mortgage, different things like that, it may be a little easier for you to get these things with this bank. Keep it in mind that they're only online right now, but Mike and the other um, entrepreneurs are mentioning how, of course, they want to bring it into a brick and mortar at some point. But as of right now, most of us just bank online anyway. You know what I mean? And with the service, there are like 30,000 ATMs that you'll be able to use. So it ain't like once they give you your debit card, you'll be bound to only a couple places. You'll have a wide array of different places that you can use with your debit card. So I'm fully behind that family. So you can go right now. You can go right now to bankgreenwood.com. That's bankgreenwood.com. You can go there right now and you'll be able to sign up. So when they launch in January, you'll be one step ahead of the game. And I'm talking to all my melanated folks out there, man. Listen, we understand all of the fuck shit we've been going through this past year, this past two years, since we've been here, really. But they've been heating it up with all the police brutality and all the different shit that we've had to see in our community. I get that we don't like that. I get that it's that it's uncomfortable. I get that it makes you outraged. But I'm constantly telling folks, what you going to do about it? Now, you can place your... 
You can place your hopes and your dreams into the hands of these politicians, but family, if we're looking at real change on the ground, real change, we're going to have to do some of this shit ourselves. Just going behind the ballot box and placing your ballot and walking off and going back to your normal life where you don't do shit for your community, where you're not involved in any programs, you're not involved in mentoring. We got to get more involved as a people, family. It's 40 million plus of us in this country, and I'm starting to wonder how many of us really give a fuck about black revolution, right? So again, the, the, the uh, uh, election is coming up. I'm not, I'm not big into telling people who to vote for. I'm not a Republican or a Democrat. I vote independent. If it's a presidential ca a candidate that I don't trust, I ain't voting for any of them. That's just how I get down. Keep it in mind that there are several other things on the ballot. There are several propositions out there that you can lend your vote to that may do a great service in your community. So don't just think that it's about the presidential election when there are several ways to be effective in your community. It's not just about the Trump-Biden thing. I know that's what we hear a lot, but let's be effective in a lot of ways, family. Let, let's be productive members of our community in any way we see fit, in any way that our, our um, you know, whatever talents that we have, we should lend these talents to our community to make it a better place. Feel me? So go to bankgreenwood.com. That's bankgreenwood.com. I already went and signed up. When January come, I'm definitely going to have me a little bank account there. Maybe bigger or small, I'm not sure yet. But I'm definitely going to rock with them. We all need to do that. Again, that's bankgreenwood.com. Named after Tulsa, Oklahoma, community Greenwood neighborhood. That's beautiful. I rock with that. Now, what else I want to say? Okay. Now, for the news stories. I'm moving kind of fast here, family, because I want to get to 